let's now talk about subsets, supersets, and disjoint methods. Okay, let's have our new sets here. Let's reduce this set to be two, one, two, three. Okay, and let us reduce this to six. Okay, now save this and try to print. Okay, we say set a and set a dot is let's say subset is subset of set b okay control save and if we print here we are going to get fourth false because we know that this will return false because that means all the elements in set a are also in set B. So that means these elements in set A should be also in set B. Okay, but also we can try for set B. Let us interchange here. Let's, let's put B here and let us put A here. Yeah, it's capital A. If we save this and if we print this, we have true okay you can see the difference here this will return true just because we have one and two three here which they are also in set a now the opposite the opposite of subset is superset instead of subset we can say is super is superset okay save this and if we print here we have force why we have force here uh, because superset returns true if the first set it contains all the elements from the second set okay i think uh, we understood each other here and as we can see that set a is a superset of set b because it contains all the elements of set b okay if let us try to exchange here let's put this a and if we put b here okay if we print this we have to we need to have true yes because set a contains elements all the elements which are in set b but when we had the B here we had force because set B doesn't contain all the elements which are in set A. Hope this is understood clearly. Okay.